This is my four-year-old gaming laptop and it's seen some better days but when I first got it, it was kind of a big deal. After years and years of fantasizing about owning the latest Alienware, Asus ROG MSI gaming laptop, Finally, there was one that was budget enough, slim enough, powerful enough, all around good enough for me to purchase. None other than Asus Zephyrus G14. So what's wrong with this PC? It has not one, but two cracks on the bottom panel. It's a little bit dirty. It's running out of storage. But the main issue is that it gets really, really hot. Here you can see just exactly how much it thermal throttles. And even so, the fans seemingly refuse to ramp up and they stay at a pretty quiet 50 decibels. Um, as you can see here, the temperatures are quite high, especially on the GPU, and the minimum FPS is pretty unplayable. Now manually turning on the fans to max does kind of solve this issue but the GPU is still pretty hot at 90 degrees C. And while the FPS is relatively stable, running the computer with the fans on max is pretty uncomfortable. And here you can see exactly what kind of performance we're getting with the fans on max. Now, before we begin to address these issues, we must first undo the screws on the bottom panel. To tackle the overheating, we are going to be replacing the old thermal compound with Arctic MX6 and K5 Pro will be used to replace the compound on the VRMs. As for the storage, we have this 2TB M.2 drive from Western Digital. And since we're in here, we might as well replace the 8GB stick of RAM with the 16GB stick for a combined total of 24GB of RAM. After taking apart the bottom panel, we can undo the screws on the heatsink and fans. It's a good idea to clean out the fans first, as well as the heatsinks before swapping out the thermal paste. And as you can see, the old compound is looking very dry, so I spend a good amount of time cleaning it up. Once I'm sure that all the surfaces are clean, I can apply the new thermal compound. After that, it's pretty simple just to reattach the heatsink. Before we go any further, let's make sure this PC still turns on. Okay. Let's see. Oh. Oh. Both fans are on. Let's go. Yes, it actually worked. Okay. Continuing with the upgrade, it's just one screw for the SSD, and the RAM just has two clips on either side holding it in place. So that's a very easy swap as well. Before attaching the bottom panel, I can reconnect the battery. And since we're upgrading the SSD, I decided it's finally time to upgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 11, just because Windows 10 is running out of support by sometime 2025. And I want to do as little maintenance as possible on this PC. So now we can find out if all of this work actually did anything. Now I did end up running this benchmark prior to upgrading the RAM and SSD and that's just to have as close of an apples to apples comparison as possible when comparing the thermal and FPS performance of the PC. Now back on the high performance setting with the default fan curve, there's a considerable drop in GPU and CPU temps. And as you can see, there's a huge bump in FPS and minimum FPS especially. And again, manually setting the fans to their maximum setting 
we see an even more dramatic drop in CPU and GPU temps. However, the FPS remains the same as the default fan profile. And that's exactly what I was hoping for, which was to be able to run games on this PC without setting the fans to max. Now, anecdotally, I do want to say Windows feels a lot snappier on startup, whether that's mostly due to the SSD, the fresh install of Windows 11, or a bit of placebo. I can't say for sure, but the SSD is supposed to be much faster than the previous one. And hey, if your PC is on the older side like mine, maybe this is a sign to give it a bit of TLC, maybe refresh it and maybe save on a few bucks instead of buying that new PC.